Welcome to the Midweek Refill with Lupus and Color, where we strive to educate, inspire, encourage, and empower lupus warriors worldwide. This Midweek Refill, I'm going to focus on getting past lupus flares and how important it is to have a different mindset from reacting rather than responding. I just came off of a pretty serious lupus flare. Um, I had the butterfly rash on my cheeks. I had it down the center of my head. I had it on, I had lesions on my nose. I still, you can see some still lesions on my nose here. You can see that the nose is a little, still a little swollen. I had styes on both eyes, one on the top here, one on the bottom here that is still healing. And if you look at my lip, you can see a lupus lesion here as well. Um, and sometimes you can do everything right. You can eat right. You can get enough exercise. You can take your medications on time. You can limit your stress. You can take your vitamins. You can do everything right. And still, a lupus flare will come. And it's not because of anything that you did. Usually flares are not your fault, unless you purposely went out there and ate some alfalfa, and you know that we cannot eat alfalfa. That's something different. But you can do everything right and do everything in accordance to what's good for your body, what has worked for your body. And even in doing everything that's right, you can still have a flare. And that's just the unpredictability of lupus. One day, you can be on top of the world. The next day, you can be nursing eyes, uh, 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 lesions, you know, swelling, things like that, and have to stay indoors for days at a time. Lupus is so unpredictable. Flares are so unpredictable. And even though you're doing everything right, because you have lupus, things can go awry. And it's funny because I was talking to my husband and I had to be reminded, you know, I was like, ah, oh, I've got these, uh, this rash on my freaking face and these damn styes on my eyes. I'm so fed up. And he literally just looked at me and was like, well, you know, you have lupus, right? And I was like, duh, I know this. But that didn't make me feel any better <laughs> that I had. I know I have lupus and I know that flares are going to come out of nowhere, even when I'm doing all the right things. But sometimes you have to be remembered, reminded as simply as that, that you have lupus and lupus is unpredictable. And you have to exhibit some patience with yourself and some compassion and some grace with yourself when you've done everything correctly and everything has been going so well and a flare comes up. A lot of people like to say that they're in remission. I don't like to use remission. Remission is really something that most people associate and I associate with cancer and lupus is not cancer. So I don't want people to misunderstand anything about lupus. So what I like to say is that even though it's the same thing, it's just a mindset that I have. I have to say to myself that, you know, sometimes with taking your medications on time and doing the right uh, treatment regimen that you and your doctor have come up with, with eating right and moving enough and limiting your stress and getting enough sleep, your lupus can go into a quiescence, which is a, a silencing. It's at bay. It's, it's not causing you any major flares. You might have small flare-ups here and there, but it's in a quieting. It's in a silencing. And sometimes even in that silencing, you still have lupus pain, you still have lupus flares, you still have lupus joint pain, you still have lupus fogs, you still have all this stuff. Lupus is not gone. It's just quieted down with the medication and, and the regimen that you have put in place to help your body cope with the symptoms of lupus. So I know a lot of people like to use that whole remission statement and then get angry when something happens. And what I found out with this last flare is that I couldn't get angry because I didn't do anything to cause it. I was doing everything right. I'm eating correctly. I'm I'm working out as my body permits me to. I'm limiting my stress. I am sleeping well. 
I'm doing everything right. But my body still said, oh, here's this lupus flare. It's just the nature of the unpredictability of the disease. And when I first um, started seeing the signs of it, I felt it coming on. I mean, you can definitely feel it coming on if you're paying attention to your body. And I knew something was going to come through. And boom, finally it did. And when my husband kind of matter-of-factly said, well, you know you have lupus, right? It kind of put me back in perspective of, yeah, okay, I do have lupus. So some things are going to be unpredictable. Today I might be able to talk um, on this video, but tomorrow I might lose my voice. Or today I might be able to walk three miles, and tomorrow I might not even be able to walk down a flight of steps. Uh, I had to really put myself in check and give myself some grace and some compassion because it's not my fault. It's just the nature of the unpredictability of the disease. So today's midweek refuel is don't get upset with the unpredictability of how lupus can come into your life at any moment and any time. Just give yourself some patience, give yourself some compassion, give yourself some grace, and allow yourself time to heal through the flare. Don't try and push yourself so hard that you make the flare worse or you make the flare longer. Take the time to really stop and take care of you and, and, and just advocate for yourself to yourself saying, I deserve this rest. I do not have to push through all the time when I'm having a flare. I deserve the time to stop, pause, rest, refresh, and heal and allow yourself that opportunity to do that. I think a lot of times when we're thinking that we're in a quiescence of lupus, that we think that we can overdo it, and sometimes overdoing it will make a flare come on quicker. And sometimes that overdoing it will make us think that, oh, this flare will just have to wait till later. And sometimes it does. Sometimes you have to feed your children. Sometimes you have to go to work. Sometimes you have to do these things within a flare. But when you have the opportunity to stop, do that. Don't keep pushing yourself, pushing yourself, and, and being down on yourself because you can't do when you know you're in a flare. You can't continue to beat yourself up and guilt yourself to death because you have a flare. The flare was not your fault. Lupus is very unpredictable. So don't get angry when a flare comes on. Just think to yourself, how can I respond differently to this flare? What do I need to do to shorten this flare? What do I need to do to make sure that my mind is right during this flare? And what do I need to do to get over it quickly, as quickly as I can, and heal with the least scarring or the least issues or the least things going on afterwards? Um, when I'm done with this flare. So, you know, just, just, just remember, give yourself some patience, give yourself some compassion, give yourself some grace. And don't think that you have to be angry because you have a flare and you haven't had a flare in months or you haven't had a flare in years. And all of a sudden a flare comes out of the blue. It's lupus. It's unpredictable. We know this. And the only way that we can get past these flares and the best condition that we can is if we respond differently than what we've been responding. You know, and sometimes I know we've all responded angrily at lupus because it flared up in our body. But when my husband said that to me, oh, you know you have lupus, right? It just really just clicked something in my head like, okay, it's unpredictable. I've got to do what I got to do to get past it. And the only way I can get past it in a okay state afterwards is if I respond differently than I responded the last time. So I hope that something that I said here resonates with you and something that I said will help you get past the lupus flare and allow you to really, sh just really just give yourself some patience, give yourself some compassion and give yourself some grace. So thank you for always tuning in. This has been your midweek refuel. We are coming down to the last day of our journal challenge. It has been a great challenge for me. This is our second year doing the journal challenge. And every year I learn something new. I've been journaling since I was maybe 10 or 11 years old. 
So journaling is something that really helps me overcome certain issues that I have in my life. So I hope that you've been um, enjoying the journal challenge and I hope that you've learned something about yourself and that the affirmations have helped you through difficult moments in your day. So look forward to April where, we'll be, where we will be doing a mindful eating challenge. Yeah, 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 I know. Nobody wants to tell everybody what they're eating, but I think that this challenge will help you to actually ward off some flares and to help you just get in the mindset of eating mindfully as opposed to eating emotionally. So thank you all for always tuning in. You all have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week.